uh, get this fast mount put on this primary optic. Have a little fun with it. One thing I haven't figured out is what this, this piece and that piece is. Let me get these. One. See, that's a little guy. I got one little guy started. I think I got it started. Hold on. In there? Yeah, one, one's in there. And you got two, three. So then, what's this? Is windage adjustment? Is that what that is? Oh, so where's the fourth? Here, it's over here. Gotcha. Okay, cool. I magnetized the Allen key. We're doing, where's that first one? X pattern. So let's get that in there. Okay, here's the there. Get in there. Not much to look at, but still. Alright, so we got that guy in there. Still have to learn how to adjust the windage in the site. Okay, and we got this left one here. Okay, so that's snug-ish. Right in there. Can't really see, so you gotta feel. And that, no, it's not in there. Oh, can't really see that little bastard. Let me turn my hat around. Use my nifty little clip that has the up clip for the hat. This actually comes in handy a lot more than I thought it would. Especially when you're, you need hands free, you need both hands. Alright, so now we got that. Where are you? You're over here. Okay. Well, the stars can be a little bit to find the Come on, what are you fighting me for? Yeah, I got my glasses on. There we go. Oh, he fell out, you yes, little bastard. Tiny little guys. I need a new prescription. My eyes are going. And the small little detailed stuff. Need a magnifier. Where are those glasses? They're in the, on my other bench, of course. Okay, so that's snug. That's snug. That's snug. That's snug. Let me double check this one again. Are you in there? Yeah, that one, that, I was looking for that one because I didn't do it all the way before. 
and then ugh, you don't want to go too hard but I said hand tight and then a quarter turn more I think that'll be fine so what's next we got two more guys we've got the windage this little guy here And that will go Can't even see that it's so small. That's a tiny little is that hex? No. Is that a tiny hex? Why would it not be the same thread? That would make more sense. Where's my uh eh, eh. Are you sure is I'm gonna have to get my magnifier glasses. The only thing I don't know is this little guy. That's a, like a locking I'll figure it out. Well, let me get those glasses. Alright. These are great. They magnify everything like times three. Okay. Well, I can see you. Yeah, yeah, that's a hex. I'll have to go to my Allen key set. I have the Mike Super Micro ones I ordered that are separate. When I was working on some one of my builds, and I didn't have everything small enough. Oh, that's it right there. I don't think I magnified that though. Oh, that one you don't really have to because we can. Let's see if it holds. Yeah. Okay, you don't have to do it. Insert it here. Oh, eat delicate fingers, not sausages, I guess. It's going to be a fun afternoon, huh? Okay. Let's try these. you lower. Can I snag you on the end of that without you popping and escaping? Make sure it's not cross-threaded. As far as setting the elevation to use it as a front sight, I'm going to back it down a little bit and then I can come back to it. So the only thing I don't have, that's not even in the instructions online, is this little bastard. Where do you go? It's got a green tip. <sighs> Let's see. I can do a quick online search, I guess. I mean, I can't. Where's my flashlight? It's on my hat. Looking for a. Wait a minute. Is that threaded? That's threaded. Alright, that's to do with the elevation, the sight, whatever you call it. Gotcha, okay. So, on with the glasses again. Okay. 
Oh, get out of there. And on to the hat. My madness, uh, it works sometimes. This is a great little light. So glad it was cheap too, like 30 bucks. Stream light. It's bright as shit. There we go. So I'm gonna put you in, green tip in. Oh wait, what are you? Shit. I don't even think that one's smaller than the other one. Now we gotta go to the super micro. Where are, uh, are those off the other side? Did I bring them over? Itty bitty tiny set. Here they are. Okay, let's see. 116th, 564s. Well, I'm guessing. I don't have to guess. Get on there. Yep, yeah, that's one. That's. The smallest one, 0 .050, whatever, I'm not trying to say that one. See, that's the tiny one. That's the one I needed on one of my, I was working on something really intricate. And all the standard ones. It was cheap, like five, six bucks on Amazon, but when you don't have the size you need and you're in the middle of a build, everything stops. I don't think I need the glasses for this one. Once you drop that, you don't lose that shit in a heartbeat. Okay. So I guess that's a stabilizer once you get it set to where it needs to be. And holds that place. I'm just gonna make sure that's kinda in there nice and snug without doing anything super tight. Put you back in here so I don't lose you because you're tiny. And you come in handy. Yeah, happy little trees, happy little gun sights. All right, good to put this back in the drawer. Okay, so that's it. Now, okay. What size were you? You were a big boy and you were a star. Here you are. Alright. Okay, so. Oh, where do we want you? Loosen you up a little bit, bud. Oh, went the wrong way there, genius. Oh, I did that in reverse order that I wanted to. Look at that. All right, I I want to correct. Well, it's gonna be on the left side instead of the right. Fuck it. For now. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Same shit, different color. It's on one side or the other. Okay, let's get you on there, brother. And be dexterous. Okay, so you're kind of snuggish there. And then what we're going to do is give you a nice quarter turn more. There. And there. Okay. Now, 
Let's back this up. Get a gauge how that feels. Get it set. Oh, empty mag. Sure, why not? Safe. I don't like that uh, stop there, but I'm limited by the Geisey rail, unless I get an adapter of some kind, because that's M-Lock, that carved P, and this is all Picatinny. And I kind of like it. I like the light control up further forward, and I like the carved P right where my pinky is. I wonder if they sell the carved P's for Picatinny, or I might have to switch over to a CAG. Do I have a CAG? Pretty sure it knew. There it is. And I think it's Picatinny. Whoa, ho, ho. Hold on. Hold on a second. And it's it's a shade of green. It's uh forget what foliage green? VCM. This is Picatinny, right? Oh wait. What did I buy this for? That's, uh... Does this make it? I don't know. I get confused. How does it tighten? That tightens. I think this... I want to scratch you up, buddy, but... I need something right there. I'm having a hard time really getting a good grip because it's this is where I want to be. This is where I'm at. My arms are all weird positioned. It's affecting my shooting. I noticed that at the range. Oh, that's going to be perfect. A little off color, but whatever. Who the fuck? Function over form, right? So that's the end of the Picatinny, right? You are he hard to tell because the light hits it. Are you star? I think that's star. Want to get lucky and this will fit? It fits. Oh shit. Nice. Standardizing works. We'll just leave the car P just to piss people off. <laughs> what the fuck you got two cag two uh cags for two uh, grips or uh, whatever you call these things, half stops. Okay, that's good enough. I'll tell you I don't think that's the right size, I think it's just close enough. So that feels much better. Now I can really pull it back. I'll move the light control up a bit. Yeah. Because before I was like too shallow, my arm's like doing this. I can be up a bit. I might even move that up one level. Let's get you in there for aesthetic purposes. Let's dial you up. Night vision one, two. Put you at five or six, ought to be good. Put you on eight. I'm not seeing any of them. There you are. Back to seven. This primary arm knobs are a little stiff. That's pretty good though. Well, this is a cheap optic. This is uh, 140 bucks, something like that. I mean, you're not talking. But it's primary arm, so I figured I'd try it. Get the fuck away from me. All right, so yeah, see, I'm just. Boom, right there. That height is awesome. And anybody who says it's just for nods, it's full of shit. Because that is the most comfortable height I have yet to see an optic when I hold that rifle. Because it's just right there. I'm not 
doing this. We just so if you're on the fence for a unity, you don't know if you should spend the cash and grab one. Stop fucking around and get it because this is good. It's right there. It's probably the most comfortable position yet. Push that knob. Maybe it'll break in a bit. It's a little, it's a little snug. Huh, not bad. Huh, that'll be fun. Get everything dialed in. Get that carved pee off of there because it looks ridiculous. And what I should do is flip it. So you, when you come up, you can hold it. You gotta, you gotta a, a stop if you want to do this. No, that's ridiculous. I'm not doing that. I'll never hear the end of it. I do want to flip that unity, though. I think I want it on the other side, but that's just... Although, yeah, it's nitpicky at this point. Damn you, anodization. I gave you some good shots, and you just wipe clean off, not a scratch. They'll never believe I shoot unless I don't post videos and idiotic pictures of me shooting horribly, but at least I'm trying, motherfuckers. Let me see your videos and pictures. I haven't seen some of you post yet in a while. Love that rain. Charged up the batteries for the M-Lock, uh, the M-Lock, the Mud Light too. They're all fully charged. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think that's going to be a good <coughs> little go-to. The Unity Fast Micro Series Tall Optic Mount in Flat Dark Earth. It's a winner. Chicken dinner. Guns America. Forever.